Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. It's Ken once again here, um, trying to help you get this some of these problems solved with the um, DLL files on your computer. Um, this one's dealing with that um, WLAN API uh, DLL that seems to be popping up more and more on uh, Windows machines. Um, what it's caused from, I mean, it can. This one is kind of a tough one to figure out. Um, it's usually showing up like right after you've installed or uninstalled a program or um, whenever you're either shutting down or starting up Windows. Um, the DLL file has to be present for many of the applications on your computer to work. So it's it's really kind of one of those pain in the butt uh, uh, DLLs because it's hard to diagnose what is actually causing the problem, what is actually causing the error. Um, but it has to do with um, the configuration of your system files, um, getting down and dirty in the registry. Um, and if you are not an expert really with um, with like kernel level uh, programming and stuff like that, you don't want to get in and mess with your registry because you can screw up your entire machine and have to start over from scratch. I'm not talking about just screw up Windows, but um, mess up the BIOS and uh, the stuff that's actually controlling it on the very base level. So um, check out the web page that I made over there on the right with a solution on how to get this solved in about three steps. It takes about five minutes of your time and it's free. Um, and it's uh, it's probably the only way I would recommend uh, going about getting this error fixed. If you're getting this, don't try to do it alone either. Um, I don't even know if I would send it into a computer shop because a lot of times those guys are just like teenagers who don't know what they're doing um, with with your registry. Um, so if your registry keys are jacked up, um, then you need to um, follow what I've what I've given you here. So click over on the link on your right. It'll take you to uh, just the, the little blog post that I made on how to get that fixed. And if it works for you, leave a message um, or leave a comment or something on there. If it doesn't, um, leave a comment. I'll try to either contact you or comment back. You can leave your email. Um, or just shoot me a message through like private messaging through the Yahoo. And we'll get you figured out um, and get you fixed up and on your way. So hope this helps and uh, Take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye.